Welcome to OZ TV. Here we talk about everything that you need to know. We talk about family, we talk about relationships, we talk about you know children, um, homes, we talk about virtually everything. So I want you to subscribe, like, comment, click on the notification bell for more videos coming up. And watch out for a new show coming up called Spit It All. Thank you. A man it's good for you your woman is your child your old person it's good for you so it's it's a business that cuts across gender Everyone. and age so it's um it's it's fantastic it's fantastic and we've been able to you know maintain a standard and it's been amazing it's been amazing <laughs> okay yeah. so um now you know with the whole covid um, situation uh do you think that the the medical aspect uh, of business is like more profitable to you know get you know get into at this period than the general you know wider market. Mm -hmm. Let me start by saying that um, we played down a lot on the medical line. We see you know we call chemists as the ones on the street, <laughs> pharmacy as the ones that are the yeah. But this time around, you find out that these people are actually, in fact, people that were, I, I know someone that was not in the medical line that had to go and learn how to do drugs, as they sell drugs, mix it, you know, have a, all those kind, you know, how to, a, a proper pharmacy. Okay. We played down on them, but this is the time the light shined on them. It has always been shining. But we never saw that there are a lot of good things coming out from there. We see that it's just chemists down the street, but is 220 naira. <laughs> but this time around, you find out that every pharmacy is my home. You know why? Yeah. You have to get that vitamin C. You have to get that face mask. Yeah. You have to get that hand sanitizer. You have a lot of things. You and see, people fall sick every day. But we don't see the richness and the activities. They are the frontliners at the actually. actually yeah. But we never saw the the other good side of whatever that they are doing. That this is actually make there is profit, a lot of profit in mm -hmm. it. Because I'm sure a lot of people that read micro uh, read microbiology, pharmacists and all that may, might have gone to start working in um, companies, Pfizer, this, this, then they will answer that big name and this and that. Then the ones that took to opening a pharmacy and know what they are doing, this time around are in business. While we were all on lockdown, they were yeah. on oh. they were in business. So true. While everybody was shut in, these people were going out every day. The moment you say essentials, they are very important, more important than anything, than anything you can think of at that time. Because if there are emergencies and there's any pharmacy, you can easily run in there and they can take care of and arrest some of the cases that are mild. Yeah. My dear, you see pharmacy, you see edible, they are the two number one no. right now because they are called essentials. People must eat and people fall sick, they must be treated. So these two businesses took the came to Lamlight right. and took the lead. So it, you cannot when COVID-19 must have come and gone, a lot of people will tell their children to go and read pharmacy and become that uh, <laughs> medical doctor, <laughs> microbiologist. Because these people now came, in fact, the kind of frontliners they became at this time, everybody wants to talk to someone that is in a medical line. Yes. Because at some point in your life, even then, the microbiologist, do you, do you find out that online at that time, you need to see people trying to form one or two things to bring it out, it worked for me. Yeah. Ginger, whatever worked. Mm -hmm. This one yeah. will now come out and say, some of them began to um, fabricate, formulate, yeah, uh, formulate yeah. stuff. That was when we were able to know that you can use spirits, use this, use that to form so sanitizer. sanitizer. Mm -hmm. That was when a lot of things came into play at that time. Yeah. You find that people now began to form, um, what is it called, um, washing hand pacing, you now press it, this one, but a lot of creativity came into play. Into play yeah. Mm -hmm. Creativities came into play at that time. So, um, for COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen gave a ton, thumbs up for medical, medical. line. <laughs> it, it gave them. In fact, everybody till tomorrow, 
At that time, people didn't want they went on their knees and began to pray for the frontliners. Yes, that's true. Which are the medical doctors, the pharmacists, the nurses, and all that. Everybody, mm -hmm. because they know that they we are always online. Mm -hmm. You can easily reach. Uh, there were there was there were no space in the hospitals. Yeah, for patients. You, yeah. yeah, for patients. For the ones we see outside the country, because Nigeria. Yes. I want to leave it that way for Nigeria <laughs> as well. But for outside Nigeria, <laughs> outside Nigeria, we know that um, COVID nineteen was a hard a one on them, one, yeah. a tough one on them. So I I I, I think um, they really made it this period. Let me put it that way. Anyone on the medical set, if you don't know what you're doing, oh, yeah, exactly. except if you went to see Katuma and I put your hand in between your legs. But if you're the medical line, if I'm them at that time, I'll go and open somewhere as they begin to <laughs> sell yeah. something. They made it at that time. Yeah, they're still making they're it. Still making they're still on the line. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many face masks, face masks yes, that was sold? So even till tomorrow. Ordinarily, you're not walking and saying, give me, I want to buy face masks. What are you using, what are you using for? Do you see <laughs> that people that are going into the theater, they want to go and do surgery, yes. uh, hand gloves, all those things. But, but everyone has it in their home it, now. It's now in spaces. Exactly. Multiples. You know? In fact, uh, creativity played a lot. Now you can use cloth to make it. Do a sticker, but you can use cloth to make it. A lot of creativity came into play. Mm -hmm. There are ambassadors of people who will forget. Tell us. <laughs> okay. We, we are talking about creativity. Yes. Tell us now. It was one person that started with, let me use cloth and now make it. We first of all saw it with um, tissue. From tissue, people graduated into using materials, materials mm -hmm. fabrics to do it. From there, everybody now uses fabric. Uh, there's something you could use at home that you know. COVID nineteen had negative effects, massive negative effects, but the positivity is a tax he gives to our brain. The positivity is in new businesses, like she said. Imagine now from the passion you have from inside. the inside, something you could do without feeling tired. You're happy, you're doing yes. it. Finally, before I round up, like she said about wedding, the first day I say I saw visual wedding. Yes, they want the I am like wedding now, but you find out if there are hundred people that do wedding in Saturday. Mm -hmm. Maybe to hire wedding gowns from her. She'll find out that she can only hire maybe 10 or 5. Because everybody will want to play it all down. Instead of me going to church, who will come now? Mm -hmm. Let's just go to court and you know, all those things. It's not weary enough because COVID 19 will come and go. Yes. She'll still go back to her business of that she's known for. But starting refresh, that's her new line of yes. business. Refresh is her new line of business. Starting refresh is going to make her more popular than Mitigavi that have always been known. Why? Because everybody will want to take something yes. to refresh. Mm -hmm. Everybody will, will, will now know her like, ah, if you take it is her juice, you know that you can be able to do this, do that. They begin to describe her with this yeah. particular passion that came in mm -hmm. as a result of COVID-19. So for me, She's part of the medical line. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Someone sitting down to use fruits to organize that. There are yeah. things that doctors will to tell you to help. do. Yeah. To give you health. Yeah. To give health to your body. You mm -hmm. know, it's not it's not carbonated. It's not chemical. It's, it's all natural. natural. All natural. So I think she's she's also on the medical line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she's part of the people that really making it. Making it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, I think the medical line made it. Okay. Period. So um, in conclusion, I uh, want to ask um, what advice do you have to give to people that you know want to go into business at this period? Uh, you know how to focus. What strategy do you think they can put in play? What you know general advice do you have for them? You know, um, 
there's a guy that says business is work. So when you look at business, sometimes people look at business from outside, looking in and it looks like a child's play. Mm -hmm. It looks like, oh, when I get my own business, um, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I know I wouldn't work, I wouldn't need to work so much because I'm not answerable to anybody. <laughs> but then that's when you have the major work because it's not just about getting into business. It's about knowing that you're becoming an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Now, before you even start or venture into any business, there's something called the SWOT analysis, which I always recommend for anybody that I know that wants to go into business. You do a SWOT analysis, and that's just identifying your strength against your weakness, and then identifying your opportunities against your threats. So it's something, it's like a cross. So you put side by side, what you think are your strengths okay. what's your strengths what's that thing that you don't need to pay money for that it's natural it's your gift it what's natural yeah, what's that's that what's that your gift what's that thing you embody mm -hmm. put it down there put them down there as your strength and then you look on the other side and say because no one is perfect no one is a hundred percent what you're lacking in is what might be my own strength mm -hmm. so you find out what your weaknesses are and that's like how you help balance each other with your strength you try to lessen the effect of your weakness and then you know identifying a problem is like finding a solution halfway That's because right. if you don't identify that problem then you, you, you're not even looking for a solution mm -hmm. so by the time you're starting a business you you should be able to check your strength check your weaknesses identify where you're lacking behind and try to propose solutions to that okay. so that your weakness kind of measures up a little with your strength mm -hmm. but in this COVID-19 season I've been saying to everyone who is in business or who wants to go into business this is not a time to focus on your weakness so much you know, sometimes a lot of us, like in business schools, we've been taught, on, you know, focus, um, try to build your weakness, try to. So, but this COVID-19 season is a time to capitalize on your strengths. So you find that your strengths, that's your one strength. It could be one, it could be two, and then you build on it. Research, gain knowledge. You see, knowledge is power. It is. Which eventually translates it's to money. money. Yeah. So when you gain knowledge, build yourself, build your capacity so that, you know, at every given time, if it's that one thing that you're known for and they know you're very good at it, be excellent at it. Yeah. Forget the weakness. Somehow, somehow they would cover up. Sometimes your strengths even cover up for your weakness. Yes. That people don't even get to notice them. Exactly. So for if you're starting a business now, this is the time to look inward like we both said from the start. Look inward. Bring out that your natural abilities mm -hmm. and you know focus on growing it. Mm -hmm. Then um, you said something else about the question. Um, how do you advise them on? Do you think um, going into business now is a good opportunity, yeah. or do you think they yeah. shouldn't? Yeah, I went into business in COVID and it's been amazing. <laughs> it's been amazing. Like I can confidently like it's a new brand. Like. I see, I see this little business that you know we started with our little um, sense growing into a multinational mm -hmm. because even as young as the business is, we're already you know attracting um, people from all walks of oh, life. Nice. Yeah, we're attracting foreign investors. Somebody said to me someday, "Oh, I love, I love the passion. I love the, I love what I'm seeing you do. You know, how can we be of help?" You know, and that is just the business that I just started from. And the lady went on, she said, okay, you know what, tell me how I can support this business. Wow. Because, yeah, and it's all the way from Australia. It's so amazing. Like, I was blown away. I was literally in tears when she was saying to me wow. that, okay, I, I love I love you. I love your passion. I love, I love your spirit. I love what you're doing. And this is actually essential. Like, you know how the Bible says that we are living a peace tools. In as much as our life is preaching the good news, like mm -hmm. your lifestyle should preach the good news. Exactly the your world. your your business like I've had people say, Oh, you're an inspiration to me. Mm -hmm. You inspire me. Well, I'm just going about doing my thing, doing my own business. Exactly. But yeah, people are getting inspired. Yes. So, you know, 
it's important that you just put in your best at this time it's a beautiful time to start a business mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. know what business you're mm -hmm. starting with. like when when my um, friend colleague spoke she said something about making sure that you're not counting more losses at this time just yeah. try to if, if it's an essential then you're good you're good you need to understand business you need to understand money mm -hmm. because business is not for everybody actually so yeah, sure. if you're not business inclined then you mm -hmm. need someone to augment that weakness exactly. if you want to invest in business if not your money will go crashing yeah. so you need to understand the world of business before mm -hmm. you know how to handle it yeah or know how to handle cash know how to know your numbers basically mm -hmm. know how to handle all those business things but it's a good time to invest in business a good time to because well, post COVID is coming. So we all get ready. Yeah, it will, it will <laughs> just be ready because it's coming. Right now, we're still surviving on the little we made before COVID. Yeah. You know, whatever you had going for you before COVID, you're still <clears throat> trying to be up to par. But post COVID, you see that you've exhausted so much, mm -hmm. and there's there's really nothing that goes if you don't keep growing it. Exactly. So if you stay dormant at this time and you're saying, "Oh, let me," it's going to depreciate. The dollar has depreciated a great deal, yeah. and it's still coming. Yeah. It's still coming yeah, because yeah. it's not even a factor of naira. Or the world economy is it's in crashing. shambles right yeah. now. The world powers are in tears. They are in shambles. You know, forget the facade every economy is putting up. The world economy is crashing. So it's you, like my, 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 my big sis usually says, she says, you're your own government right now. Mm -hmm. So you decide what works for you. If making money, if starting a business would work for you right now, yeah. yeah, you're your own government. You provide light for yourself. Yeah, exactly. Most people provide water for themselves. Exactly. So in Nigeria, we're used to being our own government. So we're not even expecting so much. From so, yeah. what be unto people who sit and expect? <laughs> not in Nigeria. Not in, <laughs> <laughs> not in Nigeria, I tell you, because I, I, I know people who are in America who receive some kind of stipends from their governments. Mm -hmm doesn't exactly. work here mm -hmm. so you're your own government in nigeria whatever you know that will put food on your table because trust me nobody has enough to spare nobody has enough to give the next person exactly. you know it's good to be charitable but then charity begins at home so exactly. even if i have to give i'll start from my your immediate home, home. Yeah. yeah then it also goes out, yeah, yeah to other people it. yeah thank you do you have anything to say yeah multiple streams of income is very important right now because um, if you have one business and you feed from there, you pay school fees from there, you you take care of the home from there, somebody's sick is from there, you buy um, lights from there. But buying lights, I mean, is here in Nigeria, we now use a um, um, prepaid. prepaid meter. You buy um, water because most of us at home don't drink water from our taps. Mm -hmm. You buy pure water, you buy bottled water, and everything is coming from one, one source. source. That particular business, the business will never crash. Stand. It must crash because you will eat and eat into the capital. Mm -hmm. you, it will stand. That business is going nowhere. So, multiple streams of income is very, very key. is important. It is good. Multiple streams of income is not the one that you keep hoping and hoping and hoping. I'm sorry, I have to say this say this networking business is good but networking business you have to build it when you have multiple things running for you because if you start it and you want to depend on that thing this particular networking business you're doing and now sit in the house and say um you know there's a way they hype you to make you know that there's a million that you have to hit and all that you know when people keep coming and all you, you find out that you have to build something that will help you build that thing to get to that million so multiple streams of income is a think wide think wide right now what do i start what will i start doing what can i lay my hands on to do outside what i have already uh, running for me mm -hmm. so my advice is let's begin to channel and refocus on things naturally or normally we do for ourselves as business let's begin to look at some other areas and begin to take advantage of the ideas coming into our minds if god he said um they say write your vision make it plain the moment a vision comes an idea comes go to god that's it. he's the ultimate he said he said he's the only he said he show you 
things great and mighty which thou know not and he called you friend so someone to call you friend means that he can open up a secret which no one knows so i will tell you to go back to god and it doesn't end there the moment the idea comes asking am i supposed to start now is he say start he say how do i start if he said how it starts like this you still you see you see it's a progressive thing you keep asking him keep moving at this time no matter what we tell you here God is the ultimate. Yeah, you have to bring him before you. If he's not before you, he's not standing with you, he's not behind you, you're going to crash. At this time, the whole world is heading to the area where, in fact, the scriptures have been fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Everybody is heading to the section where Jesus is Lord, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Without him, you're no. nothing. Mm -hmm. So you have to, anything you're doing right now, just have it at the back of your mind that a time is coming. You will give account of the talents given to you. Exactly. So true. It's coming. That time is coming. So if you are given how many talents, because as she was talking about refresh, a lot of things came to my mind. She sat at home, thought about it, and just started, started it immediately. She, you know, you find out that talents given to someone, they might give you, like she said, yes, money attracts money. Money is a current. Mm -hmm. The moment she starts with this, another one will become an idea, mm -hmm. and the, the current will keep coming. Yes. So she has really taught me right now to be able to channel my strength in something because as a current the a current you know like pull poles attract mm. they attract a lot so the current right now if a current um assuming that um the moment you own a switch right now the whole light in the sitting room comes up mm -hmm. like this studio every light here comes up mm -hmm. that means the whole current are connected charge to each other, each other. Yeah. they charge each other so you find out that right now you have to get yourself to work you have to get yourself to work and have multiple streams of that income that will help. When I mean multiple streams of income, is one that means every day something it's must come in. into your hands. So we have to get to work and get something done. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I believe you've heard it all, and um, this is very educating. So, guys, we need to you know, look inwards know what we're supposed to do to get more strengths of income. We can start up a business, no matter how small, you know, everything starts small. So don't think because you don't, you can't start big that you can't start. Just start with every, any little amount you have. The main thing is to get moving, okay? You've heard the advices that we've been given here and I believe you're gonna put it to play, okay? So we've come to this segment of um, Spirit All, and I hope you join us next time when we bring another episode of Spirit All. Thank you.